Well, Google is responsible for helping Indiana State Police arrest a Muncie man for possession of child porn. As you know, the tech giant has been criticized in the past for not being hard enough on stopping sex crimes. But in this case, it flagged files on the man's Google account. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us what happened next. It's a case of big tech playing big brother. In this instance, aiding Indiana State Police in catching a Muncie man who admitted to police in an interview that he uploaded child pornography to his Google accounts. For many years, Google has used part of Microsoft's photo DNA software to be able to track emails specifically related to child sex abuse materials. According to court documents, 37-year-old Justin Potts uploaded two graphic images to his account along with a picture of his license. A check of the IP address that accessed the account matched that of Potts and the license. Potts was already a registered sex offender. These softwares are trained or designed to scan for IP addresses first and foremost. They look for IP addresses that are uploading, downloading, sending at times, very large files. Andrew Ross that was an attorney focused on internet law. On the other hand, it can also be small files, a, a one-off image, a one-off video. Google reported the uploads to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They in turn contacted the Indiana State Police, who applied for a search warrant of Potts residence. Federal law requires service providers like Google to cooperate and to disgorge and to identify and, and hand over any instances of that. Rossow says the area can get gray when it comes to how far service providers can go or need to go to maintain federal standards. What does compliance mean? Is it a minimum, hey, we're just doing our job, we searched, here you go, or are we searching frequently? Rossow adds that as long as the evidence was gathered correctly by law enforcement, the data Google spotted can be used against POTS in court. In Muncie, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Now, we did reach out to the Indiana State Police for comment on this case. We have not been able to connect with them for that comment. Potts is actually facing child pornography and child molestation charges tonight.